braiding and extensions my name is Joy Fido and today we're gonna do something really exciting I know we've been away for some time with the hair service or the hair training and hair guidance and support um, that's because we've been really busy with so many other sides of our business but of course it doesn't mean that our hair is gone hair will always be here hair service hair training hair information hair support we're here to get to you know guide people and help you out with the hair so i've been busy looking at various options in hair you know looking at the hair extensions and all the other different types that there are so today i'm bringing something that i found out that's really nice and i wanted you to get to know about it so welcome on board so as you can see um I'm wearing my beautiful African couture, which is my next big thing in business. So I just want you to start getting used to the fact that this is my newest thing and you're going to be seeing me more and more in African fashion. Um, the whole idea is to market it and also get you to know how, you know, the various ways you can dress in this beautiful, colorful, um, uh, picturesque kind of fashion. That is not one plain boring color. That's the one thing I don't do. I don't do I don't do boring and I don't do plain. And that's why I am so into the African fashion because it gives me so much amazing options in color and flowers and you know different images used to play beautiful things on fabric. And so you're gonna be seeing quite a lot of them. And the whole idea is if you're into things like I am which I've got lots of response from people so far telling me how excited they are with the ideas that I have in African fashion. Just let us know, email us, text us, um, WhatsApp us, tell us what you want from us, especially with the fashion as well, because we're here to help. You know, there are people who don't know how to access these things. And that's what I've decided to bring on board, accessibility to the African fashion and colors. So that's just by the way. So now today we're going to be talking about this particular hair that I found out that I want you to get to know about it. And this hair, here it is, is called the Brazilian wool. You see they come out exactly like this, you know, in little strands as you would normally have with strands of hair extension, but this is slightly different. So it's called Brazilian wool. Now Brazilian wool is completely different from our regular wool. And this is the regular wool that we've been using when we create the Nubian twist or a yarn braiding as some people will call it. You see the strands of that one, they're really thin and you look at the strands of this one. The textures are completely different. Um, what I'm going to do after I've shown you what these two look like, I'm going to actually braid with the Brazilian wool because I've done lots of videos on this natural, um, normal wool or as we we'll call it yarn braiding or yarn wool. I've done lots of videos on this one. So um, this is not the one on, on show today. It's the Brazilian wool that's on show. but. The reason I'm holding this is because I want you to know that these things are in stock with us. Um, lots of people struggle, especially with this wool, to get where the original one is. When you go out there to the textile shop, or I can't remember what, Habadashi, um, those kind of shop where they sell these things, they are very different from the ones we use for braiding. I had a lady once and she wanted to do yarn braiding and I said, can you get the wool? And she said, yes, I know where to get it. And she went into that shop and just bought so much of this wool that meant absolutely nothing to braiding. So don't mix up regular wool with braiding wool. We have braiding wool in shop. And so if you are looking for this, please contact us. We have them. But the latest one is this one. And I am in love with this. I'm in love with this. So while I'm still talking about hair, um, in as much as we still offer training here and we still offer the service, 
the next big thing I'm going to be doing with you in hair is guiding you towards what's the best extension for what hairstyle. So this wool is in various colors. This is the regular braiding wool and I just explained that we have them in stock. Now this is an example of when you've released it ready for braiding and this one has just been loosened out ready for braiding. But like I said, today's video is about this one. And again, this Brazilian wool comes in various colors. This is the silver, this is the gold, or what you would normally call the blonde in regular extensions. Um, that's the red, and I think I have another gold. There's so many other colors, but these are the ones I'm holding. This is the black. This is a brown. So it's just for you to know that it's all here and I'm going to do some strands of you seeing how this hair works. And I was just saying earlier that I am absolutely in love with this hair. Why am I in love with this hair? It creates the most amazing Senegalese twist you can think about. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. Um, when you work with regular extension to create Senegalese twist, there are things you struggle with. For one who works with this, I know. They are quite slippery, and then if you don't hold them firmly in place, they unravel in your hand, so they snap back. And then if you were trying to create your Senegalese twist, it normally is two strand, and what happens, you find that one strand of the hair has become less than the other, and you try to separate the bit from the one that's small into the one that's small, the minute you start to braid it, the hair will show that you've done something. Now that's different from when you're braiding normal three strand hair. You can take hair from any strand and add them or take away from them and they don't matter. But the minute you do that with Senegalese twist, something goes wrong. That's what you will not get when you braid with this hair. So that's what I want you to see how this is done. And if you want to give this a try, which I will absolutely recommend, you know where to get us. Email us. Um, we have this on our website as well, hairextensionsandbeauty.com. And the prices are there. Just tell us what color you want and we post it to you. So I'm going to go into the action of braiding the hair now. Before we carry on with this action, I just want to remind you that we have DVDs for all these things on how to braid hair and how to prepare regular extension, Senegalese twist, and of course we have the full home training certification pack where we have over 30 DVDs that takes you through this whole business of setting up yourself. Now the whole idea of showing you that is so that if you were thinking of going into this industry, there's everything provided for you. It's a matter of you just making up your mind and getting into it. So, if you've ever worked with the yarn braids, this is exactly how this hair is prepared. You get this strand in your hand, hold it firmly in your hand, find a space where you can access like anything that allows you to roll the hair around it. And so you see what I've done. I've just taken the straight strand and I've just held it there. And this is what you then do. So once you've decided how long you want this hair to be, um, the one I showed you, the silver one I'm going to work with now, I wanted it extremely long, so I made it really long. So you can see that you can create whatever length you want. You decide what length you want, and you go for it. Okay, so you decide what length you want, and you just hang it around wherever, wherever you can do this. It doesn't have to be a chair like this. I'm just giving you an example. So you hold it in your hand, the tip, and then you hold them all into the finger how you want it. So the fingers, these two fingers are holding the point, and that's the main hair being held together. And then you just keep rolling. See that? And you roll. And you roll and you roll and that's it that's exactly what you do 
once you're done with that all you do is take your scissors and cut it take your scissors um, I have a scissors somewhere take the scissors and you cut I'm not cutting this because I already have the one I prepared that I'm going to work with just wanted you to see how this is done okay this is just a quick reminder that we still do have training here at World of Braiding and Extensions now the way we are organizing the training is more of workshops so we're creating dates that are available to us so you can come and get your training done um what we are actually working on now which will be out soon is what we're calling a bite-sized training bite-sized training in the sense of lots of people are struggling with putting together money to get skills so we get all these inquiries people want to train but their worry is i haven't got the money to put together and take up a full course we do understand we understand that perfectly because it's quite difficult out there with so much unemployment economy is so confusing people are lost and it's really difficult to pile money together and say i want to go and take up a full course now the beauty of the training we offer here is one technique alone which we prefer to call project one project alone can set you up and i advise all my students every day if you decide to take just braiding single plus or box braids as we call it you decide to take cornrows just cornrows natural hair and with extensions twisting afro kinky whatever you decide to do they are individual businesses on their own they stand alone the only difference is sometimes you need something to other in order for you to do another an example of that is cornrows and weaving weaving is where you take the needle and thread and you start to stitch so if you wanted to learn how to do that you need to have cornrows first but you don't need to have weaving for you to set up if all you know is cornrows so i'm hoping this is making sense because we get these inquiries all the time any particular skill you take can get you started and then while you're carrying on you make your money then you can learn more that's what we're calling it bite size so we want to encourage you to take this training in little bits according to your pocket according to your purse, according to what you can afford so one training at a time will help if you haven't got the money that you want to put together and take up a full course so we're coming up with that very soon all that details will be coming out soon but for now we have a workshop on just cornrows alone and that's why i'm holding the diary that workshop is on the 23rd of july this is july i know it's short timing but we have a workshop on cornrows alone on 23rd we want just six people in that class why because we concentrate on each person we want to make sure before you walk through the door and go out you know how to create corals that's why we make our classes very small the next workshop coming up soon is a weave workshop that is the second of august second third and fourth is a three-day workshop now before you come for that you should have cornrows so that's a good reason the cornrow workshop is coming up first so if you really want to know how to do weaving do the cornrow workshop then follow up on the weave workshop but if you already have weave which lots of people i mean already have cornrow which lots of people have told me they already can do cornrow feel free to be part of the weave workshop it's a three-day workshop second third fourth come and put that skill into your hands that's what i say to everyone a skill in your hand is everything to you because you can take it anywhere in the world you offer your skill you get paid for it you will recover your money in a few days not months days and there's proof to that everybody i've trained across the world know this is real so i needed you to know about that we're going to carry on with what we're doing today okay so first of all we need materials for us to do this so the main material is the brazilian wool itself this i've already prepared and watch how many strands i'm using i'm using six strands one two three four five six 
and you can pick and choose how many strands you want depending on the kind of size you want to create I'll be using naturally you use your comb to section the hair I will need my little clip I need this when I'm doing twisting for very good reason that when I'm twisting the base automatically twist with you so if you have something like this you hold the base down and it doesn't twist at all the next new thing that's very important here is the lighter and the candle why do I need this this is one of those hairstyles that you don't let loose when you finish just like the yarn braiding you finish and you burn the tips that's the unique thing about this hair you finish and you burn the tips and that's why we have this and naturally once you burn you're gonna nip off the tip with your scissors to give it a very clean finish so those are the things so let's get on with this so I've got my section ready and the next big thing for me when I'm braiding is water water helps to make that hair a bit damp and it's easier to work with so I put my hand in the middle and then I'm going to start inserting this in now at this level I'm not expecting you to pick exactly how I'm braiding this hence I showed you the DVDs and we do have downloads as well so if you didn't want to have anything in the post just go and download and so insert it the same way you insert your twist that's what this is about but you're gonna see the difference when we start braiding so insert it normally exactly how you insert your twist And once you've taken it in, because I enjoy and I prefer the braid twist, where I braid first before I twist. So I've held it down with the pin or the clip. Now what you're going to notice is the two strands of the hair are now the same size. And this is exactly braiding or twisting. Then you carry on with your regular twisting action getting the hair twisted so I'm twisting now now what I did explain to you earlier but when you twist with the regular hair extension and this one is this is so easy so soft it just allows you to do your work while the other one wants you to do all the heavy work with the twisting before it will sit in place and it will unravel if you don't hold it firmly in place again with this one I put some water it just helps to soften it more not really soften but it gives me a good grip Now the next big thing you're going to find with this, which I absolutely love is, you're going to get one length all the way through. I know with the Senegalese twist, most times, um, with the way we prepare extensions, especially with the natural feather tips, the strand gets smaller and smaller towards the tip. This is different. Because it's a full length from beginning to end, the strand remains the same, apart from the part where the client's hair was part of it. It stays the same length all the way. So now I'm at the tip of this hair strand. Look at what's left behind. This is where the candle comes in. Now if you were doing a full head of this hair, first thing you would do is just knot the tip. Take a, a strand of it and knot it. Yeah? Once you knot, you just let go. And then you carry on and finish the full head. Only when you finish the full head, then you take your lighter and you light the candle. Why do we need that instead of the lighter? If you keep opening and closing and closing and opening, your finger does hurt eventually so that's why it is best to make sure that when you finished everything then you light your candle 
and now you start the burning process. And how do we burn exactly how we burn any other hair that we burn? You hover around the tip where you want to burn. Hover and hover and then you roll. Hover and roll. Hover and roll. I deliberately left a little bit inside so I can still nip them off. And it's all neatly finished. So this little bit hanging here, I'll show you what we then do. Now I'm putting this off because it's just the one strand, so I don't have to carry this all along. Remember when you're working with light, fire, you have to be extremely careful because it do it does burn the fingers. It does. Let no one lie to you and say it doesn't. It does if you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I hovered and burnt and I just cut in the middle. And you can see all neatly done. And that's your full head of braids from end to I mean from the base to the tip all beautifully done. So imagine a full head of this. Okay, so now I'm working with the dark color. Remember we had the silver color and now this is the dark color. Again, same thing, a bit of water in it. Let the water flow through it because the water helps to um, allow for better grip. Now the quantity I've used in this particular case is six, six strands of it. You're free to change the strands to whatever makes you happy. You can make it quite thick or you can make it even smaller than this. The choice is entirely yours. So I'll carry this to the end as well, just like the silver. See that? Fits exactly the same size from beginning to end and then I'll do the same thing burn the tips again you place your finger in the middle like that so you know exactly where you're burning you hover it around don't just burn and then you roll it what that does, it helps to seal it really firmly. And if there are any bits on the side that didn't fit in when you were braiding, you just burn them off. And that's it. Then you cut it exactly in the middle where you burn it. And that's all smooth and neat and firm. So that's your two different strands, different colors, which I showed you the various colors there are. So remember this is available with us. Whatever color you want, feel free, go on our website, email us. If you don't see it yet, just email us and we'll tell you what to do. And uh, make your payment, I'll put it in the post. It is absolutely brilliant, this hair. Great, amazing Senegalese twist. Ready to use right now. So thank you again so much to all our subscribers. We know you're sitting down there waiting to see new things and we keep bringing maybe things that you're not probably looking out for. But don't worry about it. There's so much coming your way in various forms. There's gonna be more hair services coming your way. Various hair extensions we've come across that we know are absolutely brilliant and we want you to see them. Um, there are so many other things, the personal development, which is another huge thing that lots of people tend to like. Because again, we are guiding people to think the way that helps to change things in their life. I mean, for me, it's not about just putting skills in your hands and then you don't know what to do with it. It's about mentally prepared for life, as well as being able to go out there, make money, live the kind of life you want. So we're excited to have you on board with us. We look forward to working with you in the next video because again more and more things are coming thank you so much for watching this and we'll see you in the next video remember to follow us on youtube um sorry not youtube uh instagram it's joy fido and world of braiding um 
Facebook, there's Joy Fido, there's Water Braiding and Extensions, there's the African Couture Fashion where we talk about all the African fashion, um, and there's so many more out there. We are on WordPress as well, Water Braiding, we are on LinkedIn, Joy Fido and Water Braiding, so feel free to just contact us from any avenue, but usually if you want to reach us, don't just go on social media and write things. Why? Because we are too busy doing so many other things. And it may just be that we have not seen your message. So the quickest way to get us, email info at worldofbraiding.com, joy at worldofbraiding.com, or contact us by phone, which is always in the description box. That way we are definitely going to respond to you. So thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye.